What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but just recently, I uploaded a video where I showed you guys how to make toys inside the classroom using school supplies. Well, I got a lot of requests to do another one, so I did some brainstorming and came up with some more fun ideas. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys five more ways you guys can have fun in the classroom for when you guys go back to school. Only school supplies will be needed, so I have those ready. So let's get this video rolling by hitting that thumbs up button. Now guys, if this video happens to get 50,000 likes, I will do a tour of my house in an upcoming video because a lot of you guys requested it. So check it out. For our first hack, we're gonna need a glue stick as well as a pen. Now this is a jumbo glue stick. Honestly, we don't really need the whole glue stick, we just need the cap. So we're gonna take our pen and we're gonna begin to pull it apart. So take it out, take out the ink, which is all we need. Now you're gonna need a pair of scissors because you're gonna pierce a hole on the middle of the cap. What we're trying to do here, guys, is we're gonna make a little top that spins. So make sure to make the hole large enough so that you can slide in the ink all the way up, just like this. So it popped in. So you feed it through from the bottom to the top. And that's it guys, look at that. We have ourselves a little top that we can spin. I've actually pushed it up a bit more. And now let's see that in action. So it's up to you as far as how much you want it to spin. So you can do it lightly like that, or you could do it fast and hard. Okay, so you guys can try and spin it as much as you guys can, or, you know, as I'm looking at this, I feel like we can modify it a bit. So let's see what we can do about it. So now we're gonna make things a bit more interesting by using a fidget spinner on top of this top that we just created. So we're gonna pop out the caps on the, spinner it should look like this we're gonna slide the body of the pen through the center bearing on the fidget spinner just like this then we're gonna slide the top that we created inside the body of the pen like this Ooh, this looks interesting huh do you guys think it's gonna work or not do you think it'll spin more do you think it'll be better let's find out You know, I'm not that impressed, but you guys can modify this any way you guys can. It's not that bad, I mean, pretty cool. It's a good way to use a fidget spinner. For this next toy you guys can make, you also need a glue stick. And now this is a different brand, but it'll still work. It's still a jumbo glue stick. Pretty much, just like the last hack, all we need is the top. And if you guys recall, in my last video, I showed you guys how to do a ball in a cup toy. Well, we're gonna do something similar, but this time, it's gonna be a stick in a cup. So instead of the ball going into the cup, the cup is gonna go into a stick. So the stick is gonna be our pencil right here. And it's pretty much the same process, guys. You're gonna need a rubber band. So cut it. Like this. You're gonna stick one end of this rubber band on the cap, and then the other one on the pencil. So you guys can do this in class just to have some fun. Again, one end of the rubber band goes to the cap. So it should look like this. Now the other end, you guys can either tie to the pencil or, or tape it. I'm gonna attempt to tie it on. Okay, perfect. You're gonna swing it over the pencil and try to catch it with the pencil. So, just like that. <laughs> it can get complicated depending on the length of your rubber band, so the longer it is, the harder it gets. These next two ideas, guys, you're gonna need a staple for them. So, for the first one, we're gonna be playing some basketball. And this is an old school next raker idea, so get yourself a stapler like this one. And as far as the basket, since we're gonna be playing basketball, we'll need to empty out a pencil cup. 
So empty it out, place it further away from you, and you're gonna use this as a basketball launcher. And as far as our basketballs, we'll be using some eraser caps. Now you guys can uh, crumple up pieces of paper and use those as basketball. So basically guys, you're gonna open up the stapler. Now this is a broken stapler, <laughs> it, it just fell. So the top piece came loose and that's my fault because I bought this at the dollar store and those are pretty cheaply made. Anyway, we're gonna load up our basketball where, where the staplers usually go. And as you guys can see on the bottom, there's a spring. So we're gonna place the stapler on the table. We're gonna push down add some pressure to it and then release and it's gonna launch the eraser cap or the ball as I should say and we're gonna try to make it into the basket which happens to be our pencil cup so again load it up and I'm gonna do it at an angle so you guys can see I'm gonna load it up hold on to this and then shoot oh miss you guys gotta know how much force you guys need to use oh hit the rim but I missed now you guys can challenge your friends with these. Ooh, score! Nice. Let's do that again. So I got one basketball in there. Can we make it two in a row? Oh, miss. Well, like I said, it, it has, it's challenging, but it's fun, guys. Try it out. If you get some free time in class and you're bored, and your teacher allows you to do whatever, like some teachers do. Yeah. Another fun way to use a stapler is you guys can play football, hockey, or soccer, whatever you guys want. So you're gonna, again, use the same spring and then hit it pretty much. Kicking it or hitting it, hitting the puck, whatever you guys wanna call it, whatever you guys wanna play. So you guys can play like hockey or soccer or maybe that's like a field goal. You guys get creative, use the stapler, and then watch me score, guys. Oh, miss! <laughs> it looks so easy, but it's not that simple. Oh, there you go. Now you can hit, try to score from an angle. Maybe curve it. Oh, I hit the post. No good. <laughs> Have fun with this, guys. Next, we're going to create a dart with a pen. So we're going to disassemble the pen because all we really need is the body. Then we're gonna need a push pin, which we're gonna jam inside of this pan. Just like this. Perfect, we got our dart. And now this dart, you guys can easily stick on a cork board. The alternative would be another pan. We're gonna remove everything. We just need the body. And we're gonna need an eraser. Now inside the eraser, we're gonna jam a magnet inside, like this. And then we're gonna use some tape to stick this on it. So this dart would be pretty much so you guys can shoot at the whiteboard. And the other dart, you guys can shoot at the cork board. So if you're in class, you can use both of these. And to launch our darts, we'll be using a stapler like this one. So we're gonna open it up and right where the staples go, we're gonna empty it out. We're gonna load up our dart. And then we're gonna tighten the top. And once we're ready to shoot, we're just gonna release and it'll shoot. All right, guys, if I hit the like, thumbs up, you guys gotta give this video a thumbs up, okay? If you haven't yet, I'm about to shoot. Yes! <laughs> got it! <laughs> uh, but that would hurt though if it actually got my hand like that. <laughs> hey, now. Let's try the whiteboard. This is the whiteboard you guys saw at the beginning of my video. So I'm gonna attempt to shoot at it. Okay guys, if I hit the bell, you guys have to hit the bell on the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Ah, oh, close enough. So hit that bell guys. Oh, I hit it. You guys, there's, there's proof that I hit it, but it didn't stick on. All right, so what I have here is a fidget spinner, four eraser caps, and two small binder clips. Because what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna make a little cart, just like in my last video. You're also gonna need a pencil that you no longer need. I'm gonna sacrifice this pencil. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get two pieces of this pencil, so about 
two inches long for both pieces. So I'm gonna take my scissors and then carve around it like this just to make the outline of where I want my cut. Once I have it like this, I can easily break it off. Just like that, and I'm gonna need another similar size to this. So I'm gonna do the same thing to another piece. So with my scissors, I'm gonna repeat that process and then easily split it. So now I got these two pieces and we're gonna begin work. We're gonna take one binder clip and we're gonna place it right in the middle. So we're gonna put the pencil inside the binder clip like this. So basically what you do to one side, you're gonna be doing to the other, <laughs> sort of like math. So let's do that again. So now our pieces look like this. We're gonna take our fidget spinner and we're gonna remove the caps and pop out all the bearings because these are gonna be our wheels. All right, awesome. So let me begin working on one. So slide them through like this. And then we're gonna use the eraser caps to keep them in place. So slide the eraser caps in and do the same to the other side. Perfect, look at that. We got ourselves a little cart. Now let's repeat that process like I said. So bearings go in. These are gonna be our little wheels. Then we're gonna keep them in place with our eraser caps. So now we're gonna put them together and for that we're only gonna need one magnet. Join them together any way you want but we're gonna take our both the ends of the clips and we're gonna place a magnet on top just like this. So now see it's able to turn in any direction. And to make things a bit more fun I'm gonna place another binder clip on top so now you have better grip and this could be like the little driver. Look at that. You got yourself a little cart. If you have a box of staples, you guys can make a little track for it. So I'm gonna take out the stacks and you guys can build little tracks for it. So you can make your tracks as long as you guys want depending on how much staples you have. But basically that's it. It's just a fun little toy you guys can make in class. And all you needed was school supplies and a fidget spinner. Honestly, pranksters, making these are half the fun and playing with them are just as enjoyable. Gotta stay entertained in class and these are just some ways you guys can do so. If you haven't yet, check out part one of this video. All right, pranksters, like I said at the start of this video, if this video gets 50,000 likes, I will do a tour of my house so you guys can check out my place Check out how I live and how I do my videos. So if you guys are interested in that, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on that video. With all that being said guys, thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you guys in my next video which will be how to sneak food into class. Thanks for watching. So I'm gonna use these four for the pencil grip that I'm about to make. So basically guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the eraser caps in half like this. We're gonna slide the pencil through them like this. Perfect, look at that. You have yourself a pencil grip and I'm gonna take some white out, take some of this and just fill up my cap. And I'm just gonna cover the cap like this. And the cool thing about this is that it snaps into place and I'm gonna take the whiteout covered cap and tape it on the end of the Sharpie. Just like this, pranksters. All around. Perfect. Look at this. 